Hello, I am Dr. Srujal Shah. I am a consultant vascular and endovascular surgeon based in Ahmedabad. I practice in Ahmedabad since seven years. We have a hospital named Indovask Hospital and I am also attached with various corporate hospitals of Ahmedabad and I visit various cities of Gujarat for vascular surgery OPDs. Okay, uh, in India, approximately as per the data, uh, 25 to 35,000 patients lose their limbs due to gangrene and peripheral vascular diseases. The disease burden is so huge that we need a lot of vascular surgeons. Although as of now, we have 450 vascular surgeons, trained vascular doctors in India. And with the efforts of our pioneers, we are, every year we are able to produce approximately 25 to 35 vascular surgeons recently. Still, there are certain states that the number of vascular surgeons are less. For a state like Gujarat, there are only 15 vascular surgeons right now. And we need to educate more doctors and inspire more trainees to go into the vascular surgery field. There are three institutes who give MCH degree in vascular surgery. And there are six to seven institutes who give DNB course, who offer a good course in DNB in vascular surgery. This number of institutes should grow so that we can keep and match the demand of growing vascular surgeons. The main challenge in vascular surgery is delayed diagnosis. Uh, patient go to general physician or orthopedic surgeon and even for a junior vascular surgeon, it may be there are certain cases which are difficult to diagnose and hence other non-specialist may not be able to diagnose this. So being vascular specialist, uh, we have to educate uh, general physicians, uh, physicians as well as other surgeons and orthopedic surgeons to diagnose these things. Uh, in our country, patients are poor, so they uh, somehow try to avoid certain things. They apply certain local uh, dressings on their ulcers or lesions and when it becomes infected or delayed, then only they present to doctors and due to lack of lot many institutes also patients uh, get delayed treatment being a vascular specialist we face that the hardware itself makes lot of difference to give good results and india being considered as a poor country we don't have all those luxury of hardware newer technologies which are available in western countries and they come in india but at least after five to seven years, sometimes due to licensing problem, we don't have all those hardware. So uh, we request the government and we wish that we also get all those wires, balloons, catheters easily available in India and educational programs also should be done more for that. And uh, this will help us to sort out problems at early level and this will reduce the burden of complications up to a certain extent. I did my MCH in vascular surgery from Sri Chitra Tirunal Institute. It's a national institute in Trivandrum and every year they have one seat for All India candidate. I passed out from there and then started my practice in uh, Ahmedabad at my uh, own hospital, Indovask Hospital. It's a comprehensive vascular surgery center where we have cath lab, hybrid operation theater and we offer all kind of vascular surgery starting from medical management, endovascular management, and all complex hybrid open vascular surgeries also. So this was a case of a 65 year old lady who presented to us with a massive limb swelling in left lower limb. Patient was initially treated with heparin by a doctor, but the swelling was not coming down. And then they got a Doppler and found that patient has deep vein thrombosis. DVT presenting with impending limb loss is a very, very rare situation. Probably one in 1,000 or one in 3,000 incidence is there. So immediate diagnosis is very important. When I examine the patient, already patient's limb uh, was going for gangrene. There were blabs coming out of it. And we immediately took up the patient to the operation theater. We did a fasciotomy to relieve the muscle compartments. Then I put a IVC filter to prevent the blood clots going into the heart and which may lead to the death. After doing that, we did an open venous thrombectomy and 
patient was salvaged as well as the limb was salvaged. Patient had a stormy course in ICU for two days. But after that, she started recovering. Although the dead muscles in the limb required repeated debridements and later on, the wound was managed with modern chemicals as well as modern advanced dressings and we could salvage the limb. This case was presented in European Venus Forum and all the consultants from across the world were really very happy because many of them had not seen such a scenario in their even senior careers also. Uh, wound care is a very neglected uh, territory because patients, they, it is not life threatening and hence patients don't care much about it and uh, various materials are available but the actual use of which material to be used for which wound is not very clear. So people you keep on using still those wounds uh, materials or dressings are used which are out of use now and which should not be used, they are causing damage, still people use it and then they come with difficult wounds. Some of the wounds need biopsies, some of the wounds need regular cultures, some of the wounds need uh, proper imaging, even CT or MRI and all these things combinedly can give us a perfect diagnosis and when your diagnosis is perfect, whether the wound is arterial, venous, it's traumatic, it's infected, this will lead to a diagnosis and once the diagnosis is done, we can direct the patient for proper treatment. So that is the basis of treating a wound and uh, I think that will help in future also. Uh, wound therapy has really progressed. Uh, we, are, we, are, we have been using hyperbaric oxygen therapies, negative pressure wound therapies like VAC, vacuum assisted closure and modern dressing materials. In modern dressing materials, we have been using silver since last few years. We have been using foam materials, but the use of chitosan, which I used in almost 25 patients, and that is for the first time in India we have used recently, it has really given us a great help. It's a polysaccharide and uh, non-toxic, bioabsorbable, uh, non-allergic dressing material. And we found it useful for arterial venous as well as infected and clean wounds. So uh, really uh, we are looking forward for further advancements and uh, getting more and more people into this wound material so that it will be easy for all the doctors.